this is Kurt Man Productions, and today we're going to be doing another Kerbal Space Program Randolian War episode. So, um, Randolia has taken their turn, uh, and unfortunately they have put a uh, Kerbal in orbit, and I don't think it's okay. So luckily they researched, uh, they got us some good old solar panels, so now I can make a probe and send it to the moon. Right. So we were actually allowing each other to look at each other's ships, we just can't fly them. So as you can see, pretty simple, he's got a Reliant there, he's got some uh, wings there. Pretty simple, he got quite a bit of science, he got 300 science just from putting a, putting a Kerbal into orbit. And he could have gotten more because he forgot to get some of it. Uh, so, I intend on beating him because the Cartman Empire is clearly better than the capitalist Randolia. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we are going to not only put one, but two Kerbals into orbit around something. I'm not sure yet. Probably the moon, but okay. No, that's that's too big of a tank. We don't need that yet. So we could put that on there, I guess. But I'll do that for engines. Oh, we have the terrier now. Good landing gear. Not really. I mean, I guess we could. Hmm. I'm trying to think if we should put a Kerbal on the moon yet or not. I think it's a bit early for that. I'm gonna put up a comm satellite. Because now I actually have solar panels and can replenish all our uh, energy. So I'm going to go ahead and launch a couple satellites this turn, most likely. So, unfortunately we don't have any of these small fuel tanks. So I'm just going to use these things on their new insulated mode. Which looks absolutely awesome. Um, Alright. So let's see here, we're gonna put, I have these like, like quadruple versions of the high gain antennas, I'm not sure if I should use these or not, those are 20M, these are 5M, yeah these are actually pretty nice, I quite like them. You know what, I think we'll use these. Wrong way. Alright, there we go. Um, I will be putting some replenishable science stuff, like reusable science stuff. Um, especially RPUs, because RPUs is totally how you pronounce that. Um, we're going to put some thermometers on it, and some barometers, you know, just in case this thing is uh, taken somewhere else later on. Um. What else do we have? We don't have no we don't have docking ports yet. Sadly. So uh, do we have uh pay no we don't have payload bays either, sadly, so this is just gonna be sitting like that. Alrighty, so what I'm thinking we do here though is we actually use an onion. Use an onion. Not ask questions. To take some other science data. Um, orbit and bring it back down. Oh no. Should I do that? I don't think we're gonna do that yet. I think we'll just put this thing to orbit. Um, I will use a Terrier's now. Which one has better ISP? I'm pretty sure the Terrier. Terrier's better ISP than the Pug. Which, uh, I will also be inserting a time lapse of, or you would have already seen it, at the start of the episode, uh, there is a time lapse of, uh, Randolia's turn. 
Uh, there's no commentary, uh, but it's not that long, so I don't think it's uh, I think it's gonna be too boring for you. If you don't want to watch it too, you know, you just skip ahead. But we've already done that at this point. All right, so we got those. Um, and then we're going to put oversized solar panels. No. I'm going to put these octosats on here. Up here. Putting eight of them just doesn't look right, so I'm only going to put six. Um, I think we're good on electricity. Um, let's go ahead and throw some... Uh, a decoupler, which might be a good idea. And then we're going to go ahead and make use of these tanks, which I have both the DLCs, if you remember. So we have these nice, uh, what are these, 1.875 meter tanks? Pretty sure. Anyways, this is just to make the rocket shorter. Because, well, If you noticed, it didn't exactly. That Randall's ship didn't exactly uh, work as good as it probably could have. Alright, 1.36, huh? Alright, I think we're gonna add one more of these guys. Not four. <clears throat> Not four. And what does that get us to? 1.26. Okay, that's about where we want to be. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and put, what, three of these, probably? Yeah, probably three of these. We'll do a triple setup. See how much delta V that gets us. We can almost get to orbit just with this, but I like to uh, give us a bit of margin for error. And that definitely gets us to orbit. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, good old nose cones here. Um, we definitely want the, the fins. Because usually my crafts spin out of control really easy. And I would like to have some, at least a little bit of control over where my ship is pointing. <laughs> um, now this gives us a pretty dang good amount of uh, ooh, that looks nice. This gives us a pretty good amount of uh, delta B here. I'm just going to throw some of these guys down to like uh, 5-3 I'm happy with that. So, of course, this is not a Randoli one. This is a KME Octo one. What do we call this one? Um, what does this thing look like when it's fully deployed? It looks like that pretty much. So we are going to call this mm. what do we call this one? Octo one. I want to call this com comms one octo. Well, I don't think that's a well, that is the octo. That's not the hex. Our 
Alrighty. Well, let's get this thing into orbit, hopefully. Uh, and then we'll have a comm satellite. Um, I'll probably put one of these things around the moon as well later on. Uh, we might do that this episode. We might do that next episode. Right, okay. So the reason why I don't do planes yet is because I want to save that for when we have all the BDR memory parts researched. Because when we have that stuff researched, uh, it's going to be a lot more interesting. Um, because we'll be having like dogfights and airplane battles. I mean, no doubt he's probably going to put a turret that prevents me from launching a rocket right next to the KSC. Sounds like something he would do. So, um, yeah, just to uh, keep things more interesting when we get to the point where where we are actually using planes and deciding not to launch any planes. Yet. Uh, but trust me, you'll get your fair share of airplanes and dogfights later on. Uh, we make some pretty interesting. Uh, <laughs> This is the first attempt. What are you talking about? There totally wasn't an attempt before this where I flipped out of control. You saw nothing. <laughs> this is just great, isn't it? Anyway, crash the ship before it burned. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are going to look up to try to... Man, I like the look of these bow tails on the new uh, textures on these rockets. I like the bow tail texture. Now, at this time, I am not going to tip too far because I know what happens when I do. And so I'm going to wait until we get higher up to till too far, at least. Oh, and I forgot to put these on action, action groups, too. Isn't that lovely? Alrighty. What you're watching here is your skill, or the lack thereof. Alright, there we go. I think I finally have the ship under control again. I guess I said that too soon. Didn't I put extra reaction wheels in this thing? Why is this thing not turning very fast? This thing should have extra reaction wheels in it. Because I specifically remember putting reaction wheels in this thing. So I don't know why it's tipping so bad, but the inclination of this poor satellite is going to be so long. Alright, well, who knows? We might still get to orbit. As I'm trying to be optimistic here. No, I think we'll probably still get to orbit. 38, so that's 24. If you don't know when you're doing uh, maneuvers in this game, you want to get the. Uh, 
you want to start the burn halfway through the burn time. So say it's going to take you... Yeah, it looks like it didn't calculate this whole thing into the burn. Whatever. So when you're doing uh, maneuver nodes, you want to get the... Uh, You want to start the uh, burn about halfway through your. Uh, sorry, I'm just burning the party in today. <laughs> uh, halfway through your burn, you want to start it halfway through. So say, not halfway through. That makes no sense. You want to start your burn. Uh, I am not talking today, right? Okay, so say I do that. Okay. Burn time, 13 seconds. So you want to cut that in half and then start your burn when you're that far away from it. So you want to start it so that essentially halfway through your burn is when you pass a new node. There we go. <laughs> Alright, we are going to go ahead and deploy the rest of these goodies on here. I think I have most of the stuff deployed, but... Still got to get that a second RPUs. And that, I know we can pick up and transmit. What about these orbital telescopes? Ooh, we got science from that. Wait a minute. Just above Kerbin Shores, okay. So that is actually something that you can just go around the whole planet and get different biomes and get some quite a bit of science. Right, so I am going to, let's see, how much Delta V do we have? 1900, okay, so that is actually quite a bit. So I'm thinking we get this thing in between the moon and Minmus' orbits somewhere. And of course the moon captures us because that's only fair. So we'll make that. And then we'll come out here. We'll make this. Alrighty. And that should be a relatively good location for this comp satellite. I do have the extra ground stations enabled, so... I mean, we are getting a uh, signal from different places other than just the KSC. But... I don't think it's cheating all that much. No, don't toggle the RPUs. Log the RPUs. I want to log the RPUs. Alright, how much electricity? We don't have much electricity. Let's go ahead and warp. Although we are gaining, so... Doesn't look like this thing's going to be able to transmit all that much. Alright, 32, so that is what? 16 seconds, okay. That we need to start burning. So I'm just time warping and watching my uh, node in T- minus and... Uh, doing stuff accordingly three two one then i crank down my time warp to make sure i don't go past it and i went past it <laughs> that's my life there right i am just gonna move the mic here <sighs> Away. 
and I will need to move that because that is going to be a very off orbit. There we go. Passes. No, it doesn't. Just that a little bit. Alrighty. So, let's go ahead and warp to the Nuvernode now after those slight adjustments. And I missed it again. What do you know? <laughs> I seem to be good at that today, just missing maneuver nodes. And it, we could do a orbit of the moon or Minmus, really, and get a crap load of science, but I'm gonna refrain from that for now. Um, and yes, Randolia did do only one launch, not to other probes and Kerbin's sphere of influence. Um, now let's hope he doesn't try to come and steal this because it sounds like him. Right, so we're almost there. Matching its inclination with the moon. Well, I'm not doing too good at it, but I'm trying to match its inclination with the moon. No, oh, whatever. Close enough. <laughs> Alright. Trying to match it with the moon, because the moon is uh, roughly equator equatorial. I say roughly, because it's not really that straight, but whatever. We'll do some uh, Moon and Minmus probes in the future here. Um, I mean, we're already at 28 minutes, so I don't think we really have enough time to do anything else, but I will be seeing if we can get some more science out here. Why do I keep clicking toggle? But we're going to go ahead and transmit that. And of course, that uses most of our electricity, so we'll just warp until we have enough to do something else. And then we'll go ahead and transmit that. There we go. And then warp till we're full. And then we'll walk from here. Hopefully we got enough power to... Yeah, we got enough power to do that. We got enough power to send most stuff back to Kerbin. I don't think this is a terrible satellite. I mean, it's not that great. But, I mean, at the same time, it, it does its job. I mean, it doesn't have a ton of range, but it does what it's intended for. And it gets us some science, too, which is really nice. Um, speaking of science, let's go ahead and get that barometer. We'll transmit that. Plug the temperature out here, too. Again. This is kind of repetitive, I know, but hey, it gets a sign, so I can't complain. Alright, we still have 913 meters per second of delta V, so if we, for some reason, uh, put up a better comms uh, satellite and we need this thing somewhere else, uh, we can always put it somewhere else, but for now, it's fine. See, there's curve in there, so it's, it's a decent way out. So, like, yeah, see, so there's a moon. Now, moon this would be a pain in the butt to see so, I don't know why I'm pointing at the it at the moon. Don't ask questions. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that'll pretty much do it for this episode. You know, I'm just so smart that I forgot to research some stuff with the new science we got. <laughs> uh, anyways, so, oh, uh, let's see here. What do we have? We got 306 science, which isn't bad. I mean, that's more than uh, Randolia got uh, on their turn. So I think I'm going to get fuel systems for one because of the fuel lines that gives us. 
Uh, we're gonna get, let's see here, what does advanced construction have in it? Ooh, that has robotics. I don't know, let's see what else there is. Um, ooh, in aerodynamics, we get the propellers. Pretty sure those are stock with the new uh, DLCs, but don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, we do get the propellers. Yeah, uh, Airplane Plus, <clears throat> one of my favorite mods, uh, stopped working uh, after I got the DLCs and Fire Spitter for whatever reason. They were working before, I don't get it, but yeah, that's alright. Uh, <laughs> because we have robotics in here and. Uh, we have our own version of uh, propellers, so Airplane Plus isn't really needed as much. But it did have stuff like a Concorde cockpit and stuff like that that would have been nice. But All right, let's see. We got one more. What is this? That's the monitor. That's a goo monitor, isn't it? Yeah, this is some of that surface stuff. Experiment. Okay, so this is the experiment control station. Um, does it have any power generation? No. Electrics. Did, did this, this is one Randolia. Yes, Randolia got the power. Alright. So, if we can get... Oh, it's not flight control. It's space exploration. Yes, if we can get this, we get the controller. And then if we get miniaturization, we get the goo monitor. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't done any of the surface stuff yet, so that'll be pretty interesting to, to try out. Um, I don't have enough for one of the 160 ones, which, by the way, this guy here, Precision Engineering, it's got all the BD Armory weapons, so this series is going to get a heck of a lot more interesting when this stuff comes in and we start getting, like, uh, BD Armory battles going and stuff. We also get our first actually good relay antenna. I mean, I guess the other ones aren't too, too bad, but that's all right. Um, all right, let's see here. I think we're going to go, we're going to go space exploration because this gets us, this gets us the hitchhiker storage container, gets us a K and K, gets us a surface, uh, experiment. It gets us a big surveillance camera. Um, so we can start spying on Randolia. He's got a desert facility going that we got to check out. Uh, and then we got a cargo storage unit. We also get our first rover part. So who knows? Next turn, might send a rover to the moon. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this for the second time is Cartman Productions. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>